at Feed the Beasters. Welcome back. So, when you last saw me, I was putting this massive behemoth of a furnace together, and now I have to sneeze, so give me one second. Ugh. And now the massive behemoth of a furnace is together, and it's got some aluminum brass, which is a uh, alloy, an alloy of aluminum and copper, and a 3 to 1 ratio, 3 aluminum to 1 copper. And I have to sneeze again, so one second. My goodness. Oh, and by the way, happy Halloween. Although it won't be Halloween when you're seeing this. It's Halloween for me right now. My wife decided to take our kids out trick-or-treating with the neighbor and her children. So I got the night off. Very interesting. Anyways, 3 to 1, aluminum to copper makes aluminum brass. We still have 68 copper and 79 iron sitting in here. So... We need to do some smeltering here. And what we're going to do first, did I not fix this? We need to repair this tool. We need to repair it now. <clears throat> Let's get that repaired. We need to get a little organized. Now, I don't like having everything up here on this top floor. I also don't like that in my base, this hangs out the ass end of it now. This wasn't here before. I had to build a platform specifically for this. And I'm probably going to tear this back out and cover the mountain back with dirt and kind of try to get it back to its natural shape. What I want to have happen is probably to walk in. Maybe there's a set of stairs or something over in a corner that leads downstairs. And we're going to build downward at varying levels with different things. Now, one of the things we also didn't consider is where the chunk lines are. To see, is our multi-block structure contained within a single chunk? Now, here is a chunk. So I got lucky. The end of this chunk is right over there. I don't know that the full extent of the... Actually, I know the full forge isn't because that's in a separate chunk than this. So it's crossing chunk lines. We don't want that to happen. We want to keep it contained within a single chunk when, when, whenever possible. The cold coke oven is fortunately within a single chunk. And that oven is full currently of creosote. So we need to do something about that. What we're going to do is I'm going to make a little simple contraption called a tank, a BC tank to be exact. We're going to take this level. I, I don't know if this is going to work. This is this is stuff I haven't messed with in a long time because I haven't had to in Minecraft in a, a long time. But we've hollowed this area roughly four layers below our base out. That way if I need to run pipes and stuff in between, I can. And we're going to clear this area out and this floor is going to house some of these machines for us. Now, I don't want to tear away the natural facing of the mountain, so we're going to build one layer inside of the edge of the mountain. Okay. Now, for the time being, I'm thinking that I'm going to have... I need to pick a spot. I think I'm going to put the coal coke oven right here. This 3x3 three three section will be its place of business. Therefore, I think we'll put the tank there. What I'm hoping I can do is to empty these bottles into it. Yes, we can! Beautiful. And that will hold, uh, I think, eight of the bottles. I'm not sure. But we've got some more of this lovely croissant over here. And we'll just uh, dump that right on in there as well. Somewhere there is an empty bottle. Where is that empty bottle? Because at one point I had seven bottles of creosote, and I made six. So where is the empty bottle? That is the question. I have lost the bottle. I am terrified of this. Oh no. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, whatever. We lost a bottle. It's not the end of the world. So, now we have 12 fresh and clean bottles which can be filled up. And this is now emptied. And that's a beautiful thing. We can tear it down. I don't know why these things are going uh, all crazy at, with the multi-block and the going transparent texture thing right there. It's a little wild. But whatever. I think it has to do with my texture pack and the way selection is being done. I'll deal with it though. No big deal. So let's gather up my lovely blocks and hopefully none of them fly off the edge of the mountain. I have to go pursuing them downward in a deadly tantrum of no fun. Now, even though I've taken these down, I still cannot actually remove this wall yet. In fact, I have to close it in because I still have to remove the smeltery out first. And I can't move the smeltery out until we do something about all this lovely ore. And to do something about all that lovely ore, 
we're going to need to do some pouring and get some patterns and some other stuff done. But what we can do at this moment, at this precise moment in time, is prepare to move these multi-block structures. So we're going to go ahead and set this bad mamma jamma back up, ready to run, ready to work, ready to work, right down here. And we were forward thinking enough to make sure and leave space where if I need to work above it, I can because I have four layers above. This is my floor. There are three layers of workspace, you know, between these these layers. Now somewhere I have an engineering hammer. I'm going to need that bad boy to turn that back on. Hopefully it's right here. Yes. Boom. Active. Ready to work. Yes, sir. And I think I have coal. Yep, let's put that right back to work. Now, another question. If I empty you into there and I bring you back, can I take you back out of there? Okay, cool. So we can ebb and flow and whatever we need to do from this little tank all day long. That's that's nice. Well, until we fill the tank up, obviously. So we're just going to stick that there. And we'll probably make two more of those tanks and just keep that as our creosote. Uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the word I'm looking for right now. Anyways, we'll, we'll be making use of that. So we need to get 16 of these. Now what's funny is I could do that with two charcoal, or I can do it with a single coal coke. Woot! Awesome stuff. Alright. So that's working. Now, the next thing that I said we probably should look at doing as we should go ahead and start pouring some patterns now. We can get started right now with that. There's... Really? Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, sometimes, JD, you just don't think before you act. Anyways, let's get a tool rod. Because you can't use a stick to do this. But you can use a tool rod. Let's throw... Where did it go? On the floor. I wonder if they changed the recipe for trash cans. I hope not. Trash can. Yeah, is this still simple? Good, because we need one of those for sure. Okay, we are going to make something very nice and simple. Maybe. Where is my... right here? Okay. Now, along the way of getting here, I killed a lot of Katal. I love killing Katal. They're some of my favorites. Well, first thing we're going to make with our dead Katal skins is a pair of gloves. Now, these are from Tinker's Construct, and we're going to put these right here. The way we're going to use these is once we find a little redstone, we're going to enchant them. It's going to increase our mining speed. Okay. The other way we're going to use our cuttle is, I think, in a way that it's something like this, maybe? And then... Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try this first. And in case this doesn't work, I'm going to do this. I have another stick somewhere right there. I need you, stick. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Okay, so I believe this is the... I, I could be very wrong about this being the pattern. I'm going to check in just a second. It's not. Okay, is it like... This, maybe? Because I could totally see that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that gives us a glider's wing. A glider. A glider. So we just need two sticks. Cool. Do these sticks work? And ding. Nope. Okay, so we're going to need regular sticks. Just good old, everyday, old-fashioned sticks. So there we go. Sticks. And we're going to stick the sticks. Uh, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> that was really stupid of me. I got a lot of those sticks now, if, if I need them for anything. So that that's nice. We need regular sticks. These sticks. Two of these. No, not there. There. Good. And it's going to take five, six of these. Okay. So there, there's another glider wing. Now what these glider wings are used for is to make, you guessed it, a glider. And we're going to take these and put these right here. Now I've never used a glider. I've heard glorious things about them. I don't know how it works. Oops, I did not mean to drop that. Let's put this back in here. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Let's, let's sleep. We're going to go outside and play with this new toy. Now, I can't fly. Yet. But... Well, that was interesting. What I can do is, from the top of my glorious hill, 
<laughs> and this is why I decided to build the glider. Is come up here, <clears throat> and I have a launch point all set up. It was like this, by the way. I didn't build this. Where do I want to go? Um. Oh, I know. Let's go for the magic island over there. So I'm just going to run and jump. Oh, uh, do, do I just turn it on or what? I've never used it. Oh, you just click it once. So I just jump. Oh, shoot. Look at this, boy. Floating on the wind. Now that's pretty awesome. We're just going to do a little gliding. I hope that little dude doesn't start shooting at me down there. And I can just take a nice little perusal of all the land. So I guess technically, oh look, there's a high spot. If I could get high enough, I could just fly back to my base. And I, I can make it all the way over here. This is awesome. This is like one of the coolest things I've ever done. And then I just right click again and it drops me off. And there I am. Fast travel, some gun. Thank you for all those cows that I slaughtered. You have made this possible. <laughs> and that was freaking cool. <clears throat> so yeah, make yourself a glider. Makes transportation a beautiful thing. Um, and I didn't get my sword, dang it. My sword would, would probably have made that... Whoa, if you're sprinting, you go fast. My sword could have probably made that a whole lot better. Uh... No! I'm losing altitude. No, I'm all the way down to the ground. I was doing good. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, man. All right. Oh, I have a chat open. I should probably be paying attention to it. Nobody watches. Well, actually, I've got a guy who's been watching. John's been watching. John's been really cool. John's a younger dude, but he's been hanging out with me. I've been appreciating that. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to climb this mountain. Oh, no. Don't fall. I guess I could use that a lot to save myself from those falling incidents that I happen to have a lot of when I try to jump off of things that I shouldn't. So this glider should be kind of a mandatory thing for me from now on whenever I'm building things. Okay, I'm cool with that idea. Climb these trees. I'm going to lose more hunger from climbing so that I can glide than for any other reason. Man, I can just explore so much stuff with it. Oh, this is going to help so much in the nether. Oh, can't wait to use this there. Until I glide myself into a freaking batch of lava. And we already know that that's going to happen. I mean, there's there's no questions of, well, you don't have to. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Yum. Question is, can I make it somewhere? Oh, I could probably make it to there and jump up. Because I want to get on top of that and try to glide all the way home. That's the idea here. I'm going to aim for that one. Nyong. Boop. Made it. So far, so good. Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Let's, uh... Oh no, don't disappear, Emmy Tree. I need your leaves. Take me to the top of you. Okay. This is where we try to make it home. In one bound. We're gonna activate the glider now. And run and jump. Oh, shuggy duggy, here we go. Our, our Y level... It descends more rapidly than I thought. But I think we can make it. We're going to get real close if we don't make it. We just have to land at... Oh, no, it's, it's a lot slower than I thought. Wow! That is freaking awesome! This is so cool! I flew all the way across the bay there. That's awesome! Alright, I'm done playing with that toy. So that, that was one of the toys I wanted to make. Um, so to keep up with our toys... Oh, we need to go ahead and make this. Where is it at? Right there. Let's get some bricks. Or some, yeah, this. We're going to pour a cast around that. And we're honestly going to pour a few uh, casts around that. Now, we are going to need a another uh, one of these. 
bam. And let's go ahead and get two of those. This and this. And that's going to get us that. Plus that gives us that. Which is, well, hello, books and stuff. For now, we're just going to set that right there. And we're going to put our patterns in there. Okay, we've got some books. Let's go ahead and shove the books in here. Tinker's Weaponry and Materials in You. Okay, cool. So I think I've got most of the, like, the Tinker's books back somehow. I don't know how because I've tried to avoid that happening, but it's happened. So. It's so dark in here. Man, I really like that glider. I just want to go glide around now. Okay. Uh, we're, let's see. We can pour ingots. And that's good. We can pour these, and that's good. We need to be able to pour a lot of things. This includes tools and tool parts. We need to get some more patterns made, basically. But we have some patterns made, so we'll work with those to begin with. Dun 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 dun. We will get an axe head, or a pickaxe head. Boop. A. And we're going to do all this with cobble, so. This. We need to open up some inventory space. That should be good. Alright, so cross a binding, a pickaxe head, an axe head. Let's get the shovel, the guard, because we can turn around and use this for the guard. Shovel, pan, sword blade, and we've already got the stick pattern. So let's throw these down on this bad mamma jamma right here. And let it pour. You, we better not say that word. I was about to say a bad word. Throw that out. Throw that out. Okay, let's let these pour. We're going to pull these off. Go away. Go away. Pour, pour. Okay. Good, good, go, go. Okay, let's pour these next. And there's the majority of the patterns that we currently own poured out. Which is kind of awesome. Now, <clears throat> there are some additional patterns we might want to look at making at this time. Those include the bow and arrow stuff. Uh, because you can make some pretty powerful bows, even early game. But we can go ahead and make the patterns for the bigger stuff as well. Even though we can't make it yet with that because of a lack of a tool forge, we can still make the components. And in for some cases, the components are necessary, to be quite honest with you. Not in some cases, in all cases, the components are necessary. That was a really stupid statement, JD. You're winning today on the commentating. Do-do-do-do, do-do-do-do. Do, do, do. Uh, that's enough. You have selected Woodman. Okay, four new patterns. We're going to need a lot more than that. Let's just do like ten. And there. Okay, let's get started with this. Nine of these. Okay, we know we want a hammerhead. Take it. We know we want an excavator. Take it. We know we want a broadhead. Take it. We know we're going to need plates. Yep. Tough tool rods. Yep. Tough bindings. Yep. Now, do we need anything else over here? Not really a whole lot that I'm going to worry about right now. Arrowheads. Do we need them? I'd like to have them. Uh, okay. What was I about to do? Oh, yeah. Fletching. Yes, we need this. Oh, I never poured my pot. i got to pour the pot. Pour the pot. That's extremely important. All right, let's throw all these in. Okay, we've got. Did I get? I got all those. Yep. We forgot fletching. Fletching. We got no. We got fletching. Okay. Now, so we've got this. We've got this. We're gonna make the bow limb. And we're missing the string. So let's two. We're going to put these here, like so. We're going to make five more patterns. So here's the bowstring. Here's the crossbow limb. There's the body. 
There is the shuriken. Shuriken! And here is a scythe. And that's all of our patterns for the time being. Now these look different than the rest because these have not been updated in the texture pack. Now things that I actually need to pour patterns for. <clears throat> Let's start with the most important. Tough rod. Plate. Gotta have it. Uh, gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Okay, excavator, broadhead axe. There we go. Okay. Now, what we have not gotten, we've gotten that, we've gotten that, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this. The stuff at the bottom is stuff that I do not have yet. Stuff at the top is stuff I do have yet. <clears throat> so, with the bow and arrow stuff, the arrowheads, yes, we want them. I don't think we're going to make a lot of metal fletchings. I don't think we're going to make a lot of metal bowstrings. Shurikens, sure. Let's put that one out. Scythe head, we got one, right? Did we make a scythe head? No, we did not. Throw that away. There's the scythe head. Okay, let's start pouring from here. So this we know we want. Pan, go away. Put that away. Stuff, this tool rod, so, so super important. In fact, it's so important, we're actually going to make use of it right now. We're going to switch to iron, and we're going to pour two of these. We're going to throw that plate away. We're going to throw this in there. There's one. We're going to pour two of these. Two. And this is another quality of life improvement, kind of like the gloves and the hang glider. Let's get this stuff out. Get this iron, iron, leather, 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 leather. We're just going to leave that there for a second. Let's pull out our ingot cast. Pop it in here. Switch back to aluminum brass. We've only got three of this remaining. So we're going to want to make some more. So we've got some aluminum somewhere right here. We're going to throw it in there to mix with that copper to get some more aluminum brass. Because we got a lot of pouring to do. Okay, so we're going to take this aluminum brass ingot, put it in here, and that's going to give us a knapsack. This knapsack is pretty important in my opinion because it takes up another one of these additional inventory slots right here. Now what this does is it adds an additional tab and gives you another full inventory worth of space in which you can store your bags. You can store anything in here. So it's really nice. So yay for having more component space again. Because it's so important. Now if you notice we have two miners bags, a, a hunter's bag, two forester's bags, two diggers bags, and an apiarist bag. So we can hold, and that thing holds 125 slots worth of bees. We can hold a lot of stuff now, especially with this. On top of that, we can always take these chests with us to carry even more additional inventory space. That's where this knapsack comes in. Super handy is having a bunch of those in there that you can just drop stuff into. The backpacks are nice for picking up as we go. The chests and stuff are nice to dump into and then store in here. And you'll, you'll see me make use of that very soon. Alright, let's put these patterns away now. We're done using them. Okay. We don't need a uh, tough tool rod anymore. Now, what have we made and what have we not? We haven't made this. We haven't made this. And we haven't made this. So let's get those done. Hammerhead. I mean, yes, an excavator. Now, <clears throat> our aluminum brass ingots have gone back up because we mixed some more aluminum in there with that copper. So that's cool. Let's get some more pours done. This will leave us with eight pours remaining. Arrowheads, bam, bam. Six pours remaining. Let's go ahead and get the shuriken poured. This and this. 
oops, poor, poor. There, there, and now the shuriken. Pour that. Okay, now as it stands right now, I can pour three additional items. So let's take a look at what we've got in terms of those items that we might want. What I'm missing right now is I still have not made the crossbow body, crossbow limb, and I'm not sure we're ever going to want to do this with a crossbow, but, and I don't think I've got the bow limb pattern either. Oh, I can do it with this, but not with that. Oh, it takes 1.5, that's right. Wish you could, can you take shards and combine them back together? Used. You can melt it. That's about it. Okay. So that's garbage as well. Whoops. Yeah, they're there. Okay. So, shuriken. Alright, let's do crossbow, crossbow body. Like I said, I don't know that it's worth ever making those items. I haven't made a crossbow yet. I tend to like longbows. But we have it. If it's worth it, we can do it. You know, if we discover that down the road. And there's a bow limb. That's really awkward looking. But okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take all these stone parts. Can we just throw this like it is? Or do we need four of them? Let's, let's, hold on. I think I got an idea of what we can do with these little stone shards. One, two. And we're going to make a, just for funsies, we'll do a stone bow. Alright. Sorry about that if you were watching the stream and I just yelled at you. My dog just started going nuts. Okay, so we can take this and this, and then we need we would need some string. I got some string right here. We would need to put this in the part builder, and this is the basic use for building a bow. All right, put this down here. Nope, here. Yep, and there's a stone bow. Stone bows are terrible. You do not want to build these. I'm building this as a joke. But, yeah. Draw speed, horrible. Arrow speed, horrible. Stone bound modifier, okay? It's, they're just not good to make bows out of. Uh, I don't know the recipe for this. Oh, let's go ahead and grab this. A knife blade and a tool rod allows you to build throwing knives. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, like it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Either way, hopefully this helped you out. Leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.